Want to know how to make ground turkey cheesesteak egg rolls? Give me a couple minutes and I'm going to show you. It's appetizer time on this episode of What the Fork. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for everybody who's been subscribing and liking the videos. I got a great appetizer for you. Some people are coming over you know, or you tailgating, Super Bowl party or whatever. You can try these. Ground turkey cheesesteak egg rolls. Got all my vegetables chopped up. Egg roll wrappers, cheese, ground turkey. I'm going to show you how to do this. All right. So step one. We're going to take the turkey with a cast iron skillet with a little bit of oil. We're going to throw that in the pot. And we're just going to go ahead and brown the meat. Simple. It's not rocket science. So let's go ahead and get the meat browned up. And for the seasoning that I'm going to use, I'm going to use adobo in mine. I think it's a good all-purpose seasoning. If you have something else you think that'll work better, go ahead and try it out. See what it tastes like. And... Hit me in the comments and let me know how it came out. So there's my adobo. We're going to go ahead and sprinkle it on. You can be generous with your seasoning too because you know with turkey, the meat is, you know, you have to use a lot of seasoning when you're dealing with ground turkey. If you've been cooking for a while, you know that. So you can just sprinkle it on there. It's not going to hurt it. And we're going to go ahead and mix that up. And you want to make sure when you get the ground turkey too, don't get the lean kind. All right, so we're going to throw our seasonings in here all right we got a little bit of sweet peppers hot peppers jalapenos green peppers and onion so we've chopped all that up we're gonna get it sauteed up real nice this is simple recipe it doesn't take long at all all right and that's how you want it to look so you have your egg roll filling you want to take that put it to the side and we're going to put the oil on, let that heat up while we make the egg rolls. All right, so with the egg roll wraps, you want to place it on just like how I have it placed, like a diamond. And I've seen people use water. I used egg wash. Either way, it's going to turn out the same, whatever your preference is. So you want to put the egg wash on all four sides. And then you want to use about two to three tablespoons of the filling. Any more than that, then it's going to make it harder for you to roll and the egg roll is not going to come out right. So about two to three tablespoons of filling. And then also I'm using provolone cheese. You can use any kind of cheese you like. Just make sure it's a cheese that's really easy to melt. Don't get something that's too thick because then your cheese is not going to melt. And if you never used egg roll wrappers before, they're not as delicate as they look. So you can handle them and roll them and like play-doh or whatever i don't know just you can handle them all right so we're gonna go ahead and put the cheese on there and you want to wrap it from the bottom first and then you can go left to right and then roll or you can go right to left and roll whichever way you want to do it is up to you so i'm going to go left to right just do a little tuck And fold the right side and then roll and then there you have your egg roll so a half a pound of ground turkey is going to get you five egg rolls so give me a minute let me roll these egg rolls and I'll get back with you all right I'm done with my last egg roll get that rolled up and I'm done so there it is five egg rolls we're gonna go ahead now and fry these joints up all right if you have one of those thermometers where you can test your oil they said that you're supposed to use the oil the oil is supposed to be at about 350 degrees I don't have one of those I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy one though and I know when the oil's hot so I'm just gonna drop it in there all right so when you're frying the egg rolls you don't want to fry them too long you just want to get them nice and brown not too dark so maybe about two minutes of frying is all you need like you see here just let them fry on one side for probably about a minute and then after a minute you just want to go ahead and flip them over one two three and that's it let those fry for another minute or so and then you can go ahead and they're supposed to look just like this. Just go ahead and take them out. 
and put them on the side in a pan with a napkin. I'm going to go ahead and get these out of there. And I used this pot, a smaller pot like this, because I didn't, so I wouldn't have to use so much oil. If I used a more wider pot, then you have to wind up wasting oil. So that's just another little tip. Use a little pot like this, and you don't have to worry about wasting a lot of oil. All right, so these three are done. I'm not going to show you me frying the other two because you don't want to see that. You already saw how it's fried. And this is how they look. You know, cut them open. And there you have it. Ground turkey cheesesteak egg rolls. See the sweet peppers, green peppers, onions, jalapenos in there, and cheese. Perfect, like I said, perfect appetizer. You know, people coming over, you want to make something really quick. You can go ahead and whip these up. Super Bowl, game day, championship, playoffs, whatever it is. Tailgating, this is what you need. Drip a little sauce on there. Ground turkey, cheesesteak, egg rolls. Man, make sure you subscribe to the videos. Hit the like button for me. Keep on watching new videos every week. It's What the Fork.